Hey guys! So this is my review for episode 8 of Supernatural Season 12. Now admittedly some of you were a bit upset with me with what I said in the last episode, which was I really have been flip-flopping with this season. The last episode was very underwhelming. I thought it was a real waste and it's made the Lucifer character pretty weak. And they definitely noticed it for this episode because this was actually a really good mid-season finale up until the last five minutes. So this episode we find out the Lucifer is still hopping around in different uh, in different vessels. We see a bit of a Conjuring 2 uh, homage reference there with the whole crosses turning upside down. And they did something that they actually... I thought they wouldn't have done for a while, but they actually introduced the super bad Men of Letters guy. And the Men of Letters seem to understand that maybe it's a good idea to work with the Hunters, or was that their plan? Either way, we see that Lucifer takes over the President, and thankfully this was actually well used. Was it used long enough? Not really in my opinion. I would have liked to have seen this as a multitude episode, because I thought the whole rocker thing sucked. If this had been the last two episodes, this would have been really funny. The idea of the devil in the president. That was funny. There was a lot of jokes that happened in it. There was a lot of really interesting dialogue. There was a part where you're thinking about giving a full pardon to Charles Manson. There was a lot of funny things and really interesting ideas that came with the president. And while it wasn't used as long as I would have liked, I thought that was finally an element this season has done well. We had Lucifer basically running around doing whatever, but made him just a whiny little bitch. We had Hitler and you screwed up Hitler. Thankfully they didn't screw this idea up. And it was a very entertaining idea. And going back to the British Men of Letters, we finally met Mr. Kent, Mr. whatever super dude who I kept on thinking was going to be Vinnie Jones, but he wasn't. But this guy is pretty interesting. Instead of pointing out how they are constantly seeming to be like, oh yeah, you American hunters are bad, they, he was actually showing them things in which they use that make them so much more up to date. The idea of radiating vampires' blood and all these other tools. And then he gave them the MacGuffin Golden Egg, which was a device that they could use to pump out Lucifer. Now, how did they get him? Now, well, mainly the first thing I thought of is when they were like, oh yeah, we gotta get the president. Oh, this is National Treasure too." So that was a little bit silly how they get him into this little motel. I, th you know what, we're in Vancouver, it's a TV show. I couldn't imagine of anywhere else they could have done it. Either way, that little silliness aside, it was cool to see them actually get Lucifer and something that happened when they, when they exercised him and sent him back to the cage, you could see the look on the brother saying, wait, we did it this time, and one of us didn't have to go into the cage with him. Remember how hard it was last time. This was basically Swan Song 2, and not we're near as good as Swan Song, obviously, but this was a re- it was basically a repeat. And I like that element, because this is, this is getting rid of the the Lucifer arc, because admittedly, as much as I like the idea of them doing it, I think they are starting to realize that they really have no motivation for Lucifer other than to cause chaos, and really with putting him in the president, you had nowhere else to go but down from there, so I understand why they ended that arc. However, I really thought it was, <laughs> the last five minutes I thought it was a little stupid, how they get caught by those two cops, yet Castiel's just like, Whoa. When he was totally fine when the, 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 when the Secret Service guys, or four of them, surrounded them. Now, this if someone can please, I've been meaning to go back through season 7, 8, 9, and 10. I am so on the fence of what Castiel's powers are. He can mind wipe people, but he can't transport. He has strength, but he can't get shot. I just, what is Castiel's powers now? Well, I thought he got his grace back. I know he got it in pieces, but I thought he got it back. So, I'm going to rewatch the seasons, but if someone can reiterate to me what the hell's going on with Castiel's powers, because I thought that was weak. How he couldn't just come in and go, ooh, on those two people. I thought that was probably a really, really the weakest part of this entire episode. But, the idea that now the Winchesters are, this is basically what I think they, if I'm correct, they were doing with season seven. The idea that they were hunted, and now they are in the back of this 
a secret service van and they've been arrested. And really the first thought I was, well, maybe the super British Man of Letters guy could help them. But it looked as though the British Man of Letters did want to get rid of the Winchesters, just albeit not as extreme as evil, terrible lady was. So I don't know. I have a feeling he's going to save them either way. Or Crowley might, because Crowley just all of a sudden disappeared for no real reason other than to create drama. But we will see. Either way, I did enjoy this episode. There was a few things that I went back and rewatched, and I did enjoy it. So I'll, while this review is late, I apologize, but I'm going to give episode 8 of season 12 of Supernatural a 6 out of 7. I did enjoy this episode. I thought it was very well done. And aside from a few little things, I thought this was a good way to kind of give us a bit of, you know, a little bit of rest till the show returns. Am I worried for the brothers? Hell no. They're going to get out of this. There's no way they aren't. But either way, I did enjoy the episode as a whole. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys later.